Hey guys, what's up? Crinkle here. I'm going to take a quick look at the Caterpillar. Um, I'm not going to go into all the technical data on it. You can find that anywhere you want. Um, but this is the Drake Caterpillar. It is a hauler, or, or at least it comes as a hauler. Uh, each of those compartments that you see labeled 1, 2, 3, and 4 there, those are modular, meaning um, you can eventually you could buy a med bay for one, or a habitation for one, or research station for one um, so it's a very customizable ship if you know anything about drakes drakes are no frill ships um, they're supposed to be aff affordable and not a lot of frills um, I upgraded my redeemer in order to get the, um, the caterpillar here I don't think the Redeemer's ever going to see the light of day. I mean, it will, but again, every game is available, or every ship I part me is available in game. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get a ton of flutter from that. But anyway. So, yeah, each of those modules there right now, it currently comes as default as cargo modules. Um, and here on this side right here, is a tractor beam operator's area. So the tractor beam will be used to put cargo into the sides of that. The doors open. We'll go into all that when we come in there. Uh, it has two M6 laser turrets, one on top, one on bottom. Not very heavily armed. Um, but it, we're, you know, not every ship can be a star destroyer, so it's a cargo hauler, at least the default variant is. Here you have the command module. Um, it's my understanding that this command module will, in fact, separate from the ship. It also acts as your escape pods, and I'm, I'm not sure if maybe you can leave the. Uh, the cargo hat part in orbit and take that down to the planet. I don't know. I haven't been, I haven't, uh, they haven't said anything about that, but it does detach and not currently, but it will. EVA access right here. I'm not sure if it works. Let's find out. The answer to that question is no. All right, so we're going to go underneath. Just the little details on this game are incredible. No step, no step. I mean, Amazing stuff. Anyway, let's go in the bottom here. There it is. Looks like it's bugged because I put it back up. Yeah, it's closed up top. All right. Good to know. Anyway, let's see if it gives us a use option. No. There it is. Oh, I don't care. Physics grids are a little wonky, so you got to be careful. Um, my suggestion to you when you get in the Connie or anything in this, just kind of go up with it on your own until the physics grid kicks in. We're good to go. All right, so here's the elevator room. We'll move forward quick. Take a look at the cargo areas. Here's your habitation area. You got a stove, a sink, um, table, bed for the crew, four beds. All right, and then the first module here is a cargo module, and these are all the same, so we won't run through all of them. We will run up front and take, take a look at the front, but um, here's where that tractor beam would be used. So you can open the sides. Apparently that one needs some service. Or no, they don't open all the way. Okay, interesting. You can exit it to the ship that way too. Obviously got some graphical things going on here. Alright, well let's run up front. We'll just run through each of these cargo modules are going to be the same again. They are designed so that you can put different modules in. Research, as I mentioned, search and rescue, all that kind of stuff. All right, so here's the front of the ship. 
We have another cargo door here. This is your forward turret, right over the top, or what would be the top of the ship. Looking back at the ship. Very cool. Let's head back to the radio ship. Through the cargo modules. The habitation again. Alright, here we're going to back to the elevator room. Here's where we came up. When the component system, by the way, comes in, all these that you see here will be components. And, um, uh, this says storage, but like this will be a component, that'll be a component. And those are where repairs will have to be made on systems, is when systems go down. So you're going to have to know the layout of your ship and where your systems are and, and all that fun stuff. So it should be pretty cool, actually. I hope these storage boxes actually work. That would be pretty slick. Um, but as the engineer of a ship, you're going to have to know what components and where they need to be fixed and, and the junction boxes and all that. So that'll be really interesting. But here... Another nice touch I noticed here, you have the doors are labeled, not so on the Starfare, nice touch, engineering access. Um, I don't know if these are the power plants, they might be, the engines. So again, and, oh, you can use the engineering station, I don't know what it does, let's find out. I assume it's going to be just, yeah, this for right now. Here's your components. So you got uh, M6 Anvil adds computer. Huh, interesting. I've never seen some of those, so that's kind of interesting. ADS computers. And then here you have your slide for shields, weapons, and thrust. Kind of wonky how it moves. And then your power. So, how much throttle you can use. Or, not, I'm sorry, not how much throttle, but how much power is used when the throttle is at 100%. So, how much of that power is being applied towards the engines, even though you're 100% throttle. Wow, this is kind of weird how it moves around like that. I'm not sure I like that, but cool. Alright, so anyway. Here's your turret. This will be the bottom turret. Whoops. Wrong game. I need to lay down. So this is a turret on the bottom side of the craft. Very nice. I did notice you can see the skeleton when you come So here's your hallway access. We're going to go up here, center hallway, which you guys can read. This is door, that's the upper hallway. So these are all the servers. Alright, so there's your server racks. Power plant access. 
So I believe this is probably the power source for the Pence fourth power point access, power access rate. Uh, but this will be your power node. This is where the engineer will work in here as well. And here's your jump drive access, right? And then this ladder leads back down to the engine room where we just were. So there's like a component housing right there. That's the components I was talking about. That's probably a jump drive component. If the jump drive goes down, you'll need to know what component to go into to repair it and have the parts. So and all those all those things there, junction boxes and all that stuff. So very interesting stuff, man. Very cool. But you can tell that it's a no frills, right? There's no there's no sexy walls, it's all very industrial, very bare bone. But very nice, very nice like that. Alright, so server access. We are back in the main hall. Here's your tractor beam operator access right here. He's got a nice view of everything. All right, and that's where he'll be moving that cargo into that side of the ship there. Placeholder for now. EA access, this is that... Yeah, right here. Here's the door I showed you from up top that didn't work yet. Ladder isn't functioning either, so... Yep, that'll be your EVA hatch. Another component housing. I don't see EVA suit storage anymore. And then this leads back into the cargo holds. Hope you can lock those um, doors. That would really be a bad day. Alright, let's go up into the command module. So here's the command module. Alright, so you have I don't know, whatever your weapons officer, who knows, you know, right now they're placeholders, I mean, right now they can run those shields, I mean, they run shields and power, just like, um, so, yeah, he's set up for, so you can have them different running, different priority things, so, there's your targeting, your shield status, that's your signatures, so right now we have no IR signature, no electromagnetic signature. Pretty straight line. Boost fuel, again, because in 2.6 there is no cruise, now it's all afterburner, so that's your boost fuel. That's your throttle setting, quantum fuel, that's for jumping. Right now we're coupled in in G-safe, so we don't... G-safe is for uh, G-forces. G coupled and decoupled is flight modes and then again here's your whoops apparently he can't operate it but that's interesting power priority weapon shield stress all that stuff so I believe it's a placeholder for right now because um, all those stations will do that eventually um, they will be their own separate entities they've been very very adamant that you know it's a journey across a, a system that would take 20 minutes, there will be things for people to do. And ship maintenance and things like that. All right, well, so here's the co-pilot seat. And his, his display is very similar, probably exactly to what we just saw back there. Here's your pilot seat. Very similar to the Cutlass. Hello and welcome aboard your Drake interplanetary craft. Your systems are online. That's always a good thing. Again, same windows again here. Um, we do, however, have the weapons right here. So weapons, missiles, there are no missiles on this ship. Your power. So you can do all that up here. Your shields, your targeting, and your weapons online. Are they charged? Etc. Heat levels. All that fun stuff. And here you can set what weapon mode they shoot at. So you can group them together or not so all right man so let's take a look at the bot underneath so this is the command module like i said it separates i don't know if it will be able to like leave the cargo variant part up in the atmosphere while it lands and i hope so that would be kind of interesting but here we have a shower 
fold out a toilet, that toilet will fold out of the wall there. Um, four beds for the crew again. Very similar to the other room, right? Just a little more cramped. This is your hot plate stove sink. Monitor there for, I don't know, systems maybe, engineering for this locale. And then again, another, I can't use this room. Observation area. So yeah, I mean that's the inside of the the Drake Caterpillar. Very cool. I'm very very pleased that I did go ahead and upgrade my Redeemer to it. Um, I uh, as much as I like the Redeemer, come on, bud. as much as I like the Redeemer, our CPC Industries Org really had no use for a landing ship gunboat. Um, I think this will fare us better. A bunch of us have um, the miners, the prospectors, a bunch of us have those, so I think it'll be more beneficial to be uh, out of the gate hauling that cargo. Again, CPC Industries is a trading and security company. If you're interested in joining, go check us out on the RSI website. You're welcome to run with us. Let's take it for a spin. Hello and welcome aboard your Drake Interplanetary Craft. Your systems are online. The view's not too bad. But again, it's not a fighter, right? Now I believe the top speed in SCM mode is 95. And I don't know if there's enough room, but we'll try to get up to speed in afterburn. It was 410. I could be mistaken. But there she is in all her glory. 